Hey there, I'm Casey. Welcome to my garden in Tampa Zone 10A. In a trip to West Palm Beach, of course, we needed to go to Zane's World Nursery. So in this video, we're going to show you around the place. And for some bonus footage, we got to see behind the scenes right before Zane had his mango tasting. So check it out. Now we're at Zane's World. Oh, there's jackfruit. Our little one has like two. Hello. Hello. Morning, Zane. Morning. How can I help you today? We are just looking around with weird stuff and wanted to come to your place. Alright. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Casey and Ariel. Okay, I'm Zane. Nice yeah, I just cut open a jack. <laughs> so. Is there anything today that you're looking for? Nothing in particular. We just know that if there's something weird out there, it's probably true. Oh, yeah. I got all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah. Finger limes. I got all the weird new finger limes. Oh, wampy. Yep, wampy. That's a good fruit. I like that fruit. There's a lot of variation in the species though, mm -hmm. from sour ones that have 10 seeds in each one to little sweet ones that only have like one bigger seed in it. Are there grafted varieties yet? So, like I know Lara yeah. from Lara Farms, Julian, uh -huh. he's grafting one. Uh, but for the most part, they're easy plant. They're an easy plant to graft. So in the future, they will be yeah. grafted, but right now, nobody's really grafting them. The only one that I would say, I do know that another place grass is a seedless one, mm -hmm. but I don't know, I've not tried the fruit, so I don't know the quality. Yeah. But they're in the citrus family, so yeah. they're easy to propagate. Like, they're related to white sapote and all the citrus. We it, had some at the fruit and spice part. Oh, the wampies? Yeah. yeah. All the ones that are terribly sour. Yeah. yeah super sour. <laughs> I've tried every tree <laughs> there, like, Every year I go through, I go, maybe this year will be better. I'm spitting out everything because I'm like, too sour. Mm. <laughs> they have one, they have one, it's closer to the wax jambu trees. Uh -huh. That one, to me, out of the, I think there's three or four, yeah. is the best. Yeah, there was definitely one that was less sour than the other. Yeah. We have a two-year-old food forest in Tampa. Oh, you're all the way from Tampa? Yeah. yeah. Oh, geez, I was up in Tampa like <laughs> a month and a half ago. <laughs> Picking up some plants. <laughs> well, we're down here picking up some plants. <laughs> I think I got 15 or 16 varieties in stock right now. Favorites being um, Bangkok Lemon, the, Z the Zane. Um, Zane's World Soft for soft ones, or China. They're very similar. The only thing is that the Zane's World Soft doesn't have any fiber. Is that Paul's favorite? Yeah, that's yeah. the one that we did the video on. <laughs> um, TMR is pretty good, but it has a tendency to not fruit very well. Linda's Sweet's a red, like a, almost red inside one. Then we got Boca Champ, Champa Jack. This is another soft one, it's just a small little four, five pound fruit. Small tree too, very distinct. The leaves are very round. Mm hmm And then I got, these are all more of the older, more common varieties down here. Other good ones in that are like My One, J31, Gold Nugget, Orange Crush. Mm. Oh, Sapodillas too. Oh yeah, there's fruit on one of them. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> Little baby. Ours all flowered, but no fruit yet. Yeah, they don't make flower for one year, and then they start only fruit the next. Lots of avocados. I don't. I would say I don't have the biggest selection of avocados, but I probably got maybe about 15 varieties in mm -hmm. stock right now. got lychees back in stock. Not, I don't recommend them that much anymore now with the lychee aridos mm -hmm. mite. Um, but we were shocked in Homestead. Everyone had lychees everywhere. Well, everybody just lives through the mite. I got <laughs> tons of lychees, but I just deal with the mite. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting rid of my trees though because of I got a nursery and I don't want to have a tree yeah. 250 feet away with yeah. the mite while I'm trying to sell trees. Again, I mostly sell them in, during the season mm -hmm. because when you try a lychee, Everybody goes, I don't care what I have to do to get this thing to hold fruit. <laughs> right. They're such a good, amazing, unbelievably good fruit. Nice mangoes. A lot more sapodillas down here. Some of them are already flowering. Starfruits, I think I got five varieties of starfruit in stock. My favorite, if you're only gonna have one starfruit tree, you need a bell. Bell <laughs> is the best. I got the, you know what ganips are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. got air layered and grafted ganips. But these ones are, the grafted ones are supposed to be the Montgomery self-fertile yeah, so. one. But 
the guy spoke Spanish. He said one tree. Uh -huh. I can't guarantee that they are there, but they grabbed it and he showed me a tree and it was covered in fruit. So as far as I know they hold fruit. Right. But yeah, I'm not selling them as Montgomery, I'm just selling them as grafted. Miami. Sweet. Because I eat a fruit. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet. Memi Americana. Mm -hmm. That's a good fruit. Yeah, we tried that with Julian when we went down there. How was it? Delicious. It was, good. It was a more firm flesh than I was anticipating, but the flavor was really good. So yeah, um, I think I'm up to about... I only really sell the Redlands too much, but in my collection, the one I really recommend is the Palm Beach. But I, those go like that whenever I get mm -hmm. them in. Mm. And then I have about seven varieties that I've collected over the past four years, but... I'm waiting till they fruit so mm -hmm. I can really sample them. And I'm going to a trip soon and I'm going to be looking at wild ones and trying to bring oh, back scion cool. and stuff. You guys ever seen this? Lemon Bay Rum? Is I think the so. Bay Rum. Smell that. Oh, wow. It's mm. really good. Makes great tea. It's a little bit of a citronella, so it does repel mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. But to me, I just like the smell of the leaves. It smells like <laughs> lemon pledge. It, that's it. Strawberry trees, um, Indian gooseberries, MB, um, Inga Lorena, Aki. The white? Is yep. I, my trees are covered in fruit right now, but it's, they're not ripe yet. Mm. We're still about um, three weeks from them being ripe. But yeah, very productive. They, they grow in big clusters, so it's really cool. The cask guava. Oh, I don't get tags on this. That's the national fruit of, of Costa Rica. It's the it's a sour guava. Mm -hmm. Really good. Pretty slow growing at the beginning. Yeah. And then they take off. And then they flower for two years and then start. Are the lacucha self fertile? Monkey jacks. Yeah. I like those trees. They're great when kids are around because the leaves are basically Velcro. Mm -hmm. They stick to your shirt and stuff. Yeah, we'll go with this. Yeah. Very cool plant. Very pretty tree. We've got cinnamon apple, pumpkin pie meme, a couple other memes. Green sapote grafted. Grafted custard apples. Grafted soursoft. Grafted alamas. Grafted adamoy. They got three different types. Grabbed the cherilatas. How much for the cherilatas? 75. Which one? The front one or the back one? Um, whichever one you do. I'd go with the back one. Okay. Air layered sweet tamarinds are already flowering. <laughs> kind of funny. I got some white spodes in. I got the Campbell. I got Fuzzy. And I got Chambers. The California variety. Look at the difference in the growth habit. They were grafted the same on the same day. Oh, weird. But look at how this one's thicker. Yeah. And this one's very thin and has a completely mm -hmm. different. My big tree, I thought it was some problem with the tree and why it grew like this. Uh -huh. But then I grafted them and they all the grafts like the same way as the tree does. So I'm like, I guess it's just something about that variety. Yeah. <laughs> so, let me oh, take variegated that. spiral ginger. Um, shampoo ginger. And it's variegated. Yeah. All right, I want one. You want variegated? Yeah. Twenty-five dollars. Yep. All right. Which one do you want? I don't I care. I love variegated stuff. That's my. I know. Yeah. yeah. I your mango that you posted. Yeah, I post all kinds of stuff. I like to tease people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were potted up maybe about three weeks ago, so I would leave them in the pot for maybe another mm -hmm. three weeks, and then go straight in the ground. They are rooted, but you can see the soil yeah, moves. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see I got some other variegated stuff here. I got variegated turmeric, variegated sea grape, variegated tropical almond, variegated fiddle leaf fig. You can go in there. Nothing in there is really for sale right now, but if you want to okay. show off, there is some. Your garden? No, <laughs> nothing rare. Nothing too rare is in here anymore. I got some variegated palm trees. These are majesty palms. You can see the nice fig. Oh, cool. Very good vanilla orchid. Alocasia, big variegated bird of paradise. 
Monstera. Super cool. Thank you. These are the biting trees. <laughs> Such a cool tree. Look at this. Uh-huh, finger lime. Yeah. Finger lime. Here, do you want me to... My hand's a little dirty, but... <laughs> a little pop. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's nice. It's not, it's like, super sour. It's not even meant to be eaten like this. You gotta put it on, on food. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. tacos, guacamole, seafood, desserts. Tacos, that's a good one. Yeah, tacos. So that's the U.S. Sun variety. Mm -hmm. Oh, he even tells you it's on pond apple. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good pineapples, edible ones, the juicy. I think we've got that one. We picked up recently sell the shirts? Do you have any Zane's World shirts? I have, I got some I Heart Mango Zane's World shirts. Okay. This yeah. is Zane's World on the back, I Heart Mango's there. They're 20 bucks each. Um, one too large. Too large? All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Collecting all of our t-shirts? Oh, we see them wearing it. Yeah. I love those, like, Alocasia. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's all, you said large? Yeah. So that's large, and then this one, let me just, I'm just double checking. Large. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Nine pounds of the finger limes. Big jackfruits, a lot of jackfruits today. Wow, those are huge. So this is a Zane's World Soft, this is the, uh -huh. that's off on the video. Excalibur Gold, another Zane's World Soft. This is a little baby Excalibur Gold. Um, red morning seedling, another Excalibur gold, and I did just cut open a. Oh, that's what crush. that is. That's an orange crush. It's actually a very small fruit. They should be a lot bigger than that. The capsules seem pretty small to me. I don't know where I put my knife, but. All this for your and mango then, tasting. Yep, I got all kinds of varieties I've never even heard of. Langra, Beninsari, um, Young. Stringless peach, Van Dyke, Borshaw. This is a species of mango, actually. This is Mangafira odorata. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, these are really cool. I got half of these ones I've never heard of. Here's a giant fruit. Wow. Pasqual. Man. Then you got some. A bunch Venus of is huge. Venus gets bigger than that. Venus is actually normally a very late yeah. fruit, end of end of August. This year they're already starting to ripen. I think some up in some coconut, uh, what was it? Cotton candy is already being harvested yeah. up there too. <laughs> Dyad. You want to see a really cool looking mango? I've never seen one that looks like this. It's called Anderson. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that shape. And then here we got a couple other species. So we got Mangafira zelanica. We got, this is Mangafira rubapetala. So really cool species. And then here is probably one of the coolest species that we got, the Casturi. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Do it they smells make so good. Rootstock? Well, they're a little bit more, I would say they're a little bit more better suited. Like I've seen the, um, to me, Casturis, the trees are more deep green. Mm -hmm. And that's so they probably like the soil, the sandier soil a little better. They must come from an area that does. I haven't done much research into it. Uh, I, they're better rootstock for species. They're not a better rootstock for indica. So yeah, here's Weber. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, there's a bunch of things. Yeah, so I just got all these. These are all for the event. There's a new variety here. So I should probably... Oh, Ceci Love? No. Oh, I just, we just got that tree. Oh, there's one here. <laughs> Now let's see here. So this, it's a new one. Looks like a maha. Oh. 
It's actually a lemon meringue seedling that a friend down the street grew from seed. It has a really good flavor, but I um, can't say what he's going to call it yet. Oh. He doesn't want me <laughs> disclosing that much information yet, but we're going to be sampling that out to let people see what people think. And then, yeah, over here, this is all lemon zest. That is my favorite mango. Mm -hmm. I love lemon zest. Yeah, this one looks just like Mahachinak, but yeah, that's the same hybrid. What's that? This little, these are called it mangoes, or technically the name is it's a marcata. <laughs> so I just wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> you would understand. Oh, right, and then down here we got some MAs, and not to be confused. But Meme Americana. Mm -hmm. So they're not even related. This is in the Clusiacea family. And then this one is in the Pteria family. So this variety of Meme is variety 9998. It's a lot of people use it as a rootstock. But to me, it's a very red fleshed one. Mm -hmm. Very good flavor. Mm -hmm. And then these taste like um, a crunchy apricot. So that was it for our experience at Zane's World. It's definitely a must go. We're excited to have some of his plants in our garden. I know that we got the Cherilada, a um, shampoo ginger, and there's a few other things I just forgot right now. Uh, if you're in West Palm, it's definitely a must go. Zane is very knowledgeable. He knows a lot about the different plants and grows his own stuff and grafts them. It's definitely a fun experience and we're very grateful that we got these amazing uh, I Love Mango shirts and we got to try some of that amazing fruit with Zane. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.